Welcome back. Well, both the Western Christian and Sergeant Bluff Luton boys teams have had plenty of success in recent years. The Wolfpack won the state championship in 2017, while the Warriors have made it to the state tournament the past two years, including a runner-up finish in 17. Western Christian has won the last three meetings, though, by only by an average margin of nearly four points, though. Last year's showdown was only separated by two points, and these two were tied at 31 at the half, and Clay Van Toll gets his defender to sail past him, and he gets the easy two there. Then at the other end, Jake Lehman runs into a wall of defenders, but it doesn't matter to him. He'll finish at the rim. A tough bucket for him. Wolfpack, they continue to have great ball movement at their end, though. Dyson Coima gets the defense to bite, then flips to Carter Broek, who gets the tough reverse lay into fall. The Warriors offense continue to pound it inside. Sam DeMoss undressing the defender with the up and under move. Then SBL goes to QB1. The big man, Daniel Wright, this kid's staying at least 6'7". He's battling on the blocks. He'll get the bucket and the bonus. The Warriors would pull away in the second half, winning 71-56. We'll head north towards the city. Hewlin hosting Lamars. In the first, the Dogs can't get it the first time around. But Trevor Smith snags the board, and he's there for the putback. And we got more highlights from Lamars. It was a by three, get the fourth free at the pit tonight. Alex Irwin would finish off the old-fashioned four-point play. Dogs up 10 to two at this point. Hewlin would start to fight back, though. Sam O'Hearn crosses the defender, luring some help, but he'll dish to Cade Block, who finishes with the deuce. Then in transition, Drew Olson zigging and zagging through the court, but it's going to skip it to Cole Hogue. He's going to get the bucket and the bonus as well. Dogs would have a strong first quarter, leading 15-6, to six, and they'd keep it up. Jake Cones with the soft hands and even better handles. Tough two falls for him. The Crusaders, they'd fight back, though, and get a good win, 73-62.